there's Steve's laptop now. This one was here, I could take off the front. It's a ZV6 uh, gateway netbook. Anyways, to get to the RAM, it's not like a normal netbook where you just you know, take out like six screws and pop off the back. You actually have to take off the keyboard first, and it's quite simple. Well, kind of simple. Basically this fold in there, and there's like three clips, one there, one there, one there. Get behind that with something like a, an old card, and just pull up the clips. Once that's off, pull out the ribbon cable. There's a little switch there. You can see that it folds up and down to hold the ribbon cable in place. And then all along here, just take out every screw that says door, which are pretty much all the black ones, which are the M2 times seven. So there's like one there, one there, one there, one, I think there, and there. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's another one. And once you do that, you press down this little tab, and that is connected to the back plate. And the back plate comes off, and then you have access to the glorious world of options to upgrade your RAM or hard drive. And this one is getting an SSD and more RAM. Alright, there you go. Got the drive out. And the RAM is upgraded to 2 gigs now for the SSD. Ooh, pretty. I love these Kingstons. They're cheap. Well, not the cheapest, but they're really reliable. I've gone through about 3 or 4 of these things in different computers and not a single one has had an issue. And there, just plug that uh, little adapter that's on here with a cable. So watch the cable that you don't break this when you pull it out. And again, no screws holding that in. I think the bottom of the case is way more than enough to hold this thing. And this did come with a spacer. So I might put that in there just to make it more snug. Yeah, okay. There it is. And for the funnest part, I'm going to put this ribbon cable right there back into this little latch. So we'll make sure it's pulled up on the tab. And then stab her back in there. And then after this is done, I'm just going to do a test fire, test boot, and make sure that that RAM will is compatible with this. If I ever get the cable in here, come on, you. Some of these are easier than others. This one's not being easy. Just a quick test boot. I gotta get like an external CD-ROM to install an OS. And uh, yeah, so just saying that it's got no no Windows installed basically. So what I'm gonna do is probably get a USB drive and then convert that to a Windows installation or use an external CD-ROM and install an OS. So I installed seven on there, but I'm gonna upgrade to 10 using the download tool from Microsoft. Copy that to a USB stick and hopefully this will upgrade to 10 and it'll work fine. I don't know, I've never used 10 on a netbook, not of this stature before. The last time I used a 10 on a netbook, it was uh, the resolution didn't work too good. All right, so we went from seven to 10. Okay, so it's been like a day later since I started messing with the uh, netbook. It's now in Windows 10. I'm just copying everything from this adapter that goes do 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 to the old hard drive, old 256 gig mechanical. Only a Scorpio Blue, so that's 5400 RPM, pretty slow with the SSD in here now. This is pretty snappy, and the new RAM. It's actually pretty quick for a netbook. This was one of the later netbooks, but uh, for netbook. This will be just fine for navigation and stuff. And she's complete, folks. Yes, the little netbook that could. Uh, this thing is surprisingly quick with everything installed with the SSD. I wouldn't think an SSD would really make a netbook that much faster, but boot speeds are just way up there. You know, like things are snappy. Uh, it's on Windows 10, which is pretty rare for a netbook. And everything works fine. Like I just installed Windows 10 thinking I would have all kinds of problems, but everything works, nothing's wrong with it. Again, this is the uh, Z6, I think it's like a, the other model name is like 280T or LT, there you go, 283H, but I think the 280 is a more common name. But this should be fine for Steve, he wants to take this down to Mexico and do some sailing and stuff, so navigation programs are gonna have to be put on this, but otherwise, it's good to go. If you see that, just like logins quick. It's no longer a crappy netbook. All right, guys, there was a little short informative video about how to upgrade your Z6 uh, 